Well, good to know that someone was listening to the amount of WTF that was happening after the last episode. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Jeremy here. Sorry for the lateness of this review. It's pretty much null and void because the next episode comes out tomorrow, but finally reviewing it, and I wish I had reviewed it earlier just so I can, just because of the screen cap I've got for this one. It's that face. It's, it reminds me of Leviathan, uh, <laughs> Leviathan cast and how silly that was. Anyway, so it looks like they calmed down on the amount of absolute what the actual hell that they pushed into the last episode. They dropped all of Lucifer's stuff for this episode. They dropped Jensen Ackles wife for this episode. They dropped a lot of things, but they still were able to throw a few WTFs into it, like Jack being tortured by Michael. That was, I don't know. I thought that was a little like, okay. Cause I went back and watched my last review and I don't remember mentioning that. I don't even remember it in the previous episode, but maybe there was so much what the actual hell happened in that episode that I, I didn't have room to remember that. Either way though, there's actually two very interesting story arcs that are going through this. The first is Donatello basically snapping for under the spell that Walker Texas Ranger put on him, as well as the effect that the tablet is having on him because he has no soul. And there's this moral dilemma between Cass, Sam, and Dean of what to do with him. However, before he sends them on this, this random quest to kill these two dudes that are in giant jumpers, giant loincloths, and the scene, in all reality, is actually completely pointless, but it's funny. But it's pointless. Because at first I thought, oh, maybe they'll use the swords for something, and I noticed that none of them were handing any, holding any of the swords. That was funny, but that had no point. That was just filling time. The story that actually does have some sort of resonance is what's happening with Jack and Mary. Mary is still giving all of the two shits she seems to care about this show, as every single time the camera is on her, the amount of lacking emotion and care is astounding every time. However, Jack has an actually an interesting aspect, because he's helping the survivors, the human survivors, that are led by Bobby, who Dean didn't kill, by the way. You remember how he just kind of disappeared at the end when Sam and Dean bumped into him in the alternate reality and then all of a sudden Dean had Bobby's gun? So that is an interesting cool idea to see Jim Beaver again because literally they can't kill this guy even when he's in an alternate reality. We do see that there is more pressing towards the whole idea of Michael coming into the world and destroying it as well as Lucifer being the king of heaven and just... Hey guys, remember the apocalypse? Remember the best season we had, which was season 5? So we're gonna redo that again. In the end, this episode didn't really offer anything. It just, it offered a storyline that went nowhere. We found out that there's another spell out of the ass of how to uh, get the brothers into the alternate dimension without Jack. Jack wants to take on Michael in the alternate universe. But we know that won't succeed because we still have... Well, we're to number 15, so we have this eight more episodes until the end. And again, I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 7, because there were some funny bits, and they had some cool elements, but none of it mattered. In the end, Donatello is now out of the show, because he got his mind wiped. But actually, that was probably the first affirmative thing that this show's done with these characters, because now Dean and Sam are so goddamn pacifist with wanting to kill anyone, that Cass actually did something, and he didn't fuck it up. And he actually did something towards forwarding the story in a positive way rather than a negative way. So good on you, Cass. You finally didn't fuck up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're interested in more, subscribe as I will keep going with this season no matter how much my mind kind of winks me not want to. And I'll see you next time.